I'm going to show you step number 10. 10 says to sear all cut edges of the webbing. To sear something, if you look at the beginning of your book, to sear is to pass the cut edge of the nylon webbing through a flame until a fine bead forms on the edge of the webbing. This prevents the webbing from raveling. If you look at your webbing, you may have some pieces that are already unraveling off. What you're going to do before you sear them, you're going to use your shears and cut off any extra pieces that you see. Any extra webbing that looks like it's falling off, you're going to remove that before you, before you sear it. You are having four different pieces of webbing and each webbing has two ends that you're going to be searing. You do not need to sear the long edges because these are already finished and will not unravel. Okay. I am going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight edges that I'm going to have to sear. Okay. When you sear, you're going to be using a lighter that looks like this. You have to push up on the safety part, you have to push it straight up before you can push the trigger for the flame to come out. If you don't push up and you just try to pull the trigger, nothing will happen. Okay, so you have to push up with your thumb and pull the trigger, and then you're going to take your webbing and you're gonna hold it next to where the flame is. Okay, all I'm doing is passing it under that one time and on the edge of it, it's going to almost um, make it so it doesn't unravel anymore. And it's going to have little, like a, it's going to end up being hard on the end. Okay? It makes it so that none of those, it won't fray anymore. None of those little pieces of, of nylon are going to come out of there. Okay? So I'm done with one piece. I'm going to do this again. Be careful not to touch the end right away because it will still be hot. It will cool down pretty quickly though. Your directions tell you to sear in a well ventilated area. When you sear this, sometimes there's some fumes that can come off that don't smell very good. So if you were doing this at home, you would want to do this outside or in a big room. Since we're doing it in the classroom here, it's a pretty big space already, and so we shouldn't have a problem. And that is step 10.